And uh, President Pakana is urging her inner circle to beef up the nation's defense alliance against North Korean threats. Meeting her top aides on Thursday, she also offered her first official explanation for the latest allegations swirling around the top office. Song ji has the details. President Buck says North Korea is standing against humanity, history, and a civilization of mankind and cannot survive. She made her remarks at a regular meeting with her top aides Thursday, held in the shadow of North Korea's latest missile launch attempt. With security talks between South Korea and the United States underway in Washington, President Buck said the allies must send a strong warning to Pyongyang as a new U.S. administration is set to take office in January. 확장 억제를 포함한 한미 동맹의 대북 억제 역량을 더욱 가시적이고 실효적으로 담보할 수 있도록 제도적 틀을 강화하고 내실을 다짐으로써 국민들이 한층 신뢰할 수 있도록 해 주기를 바랍니다. President Buck also addressed the recent controversy surrounding her longtime confidant Choi Soon-sil, who was facing corruption allegations related to two foundations. The two organizations raised a large amount of funds from conglomerates in a short period of time and took part in many cultural and sports events related to President Buck's overseas trips. The president said participation and the funding from the corporate sector added momentum to our key policy initiatives on the creative economy and cultural prosperity. 이처럼 의미 있는 사업에 대해 의혹이 확산되고 도를 지나치게 인신 공격성 논란이 계속 이어진다면 문화 융성을 위한 기업들의 순수한 참여 참여 의지에 찬물을 끼얹어 기업들도 더 이상 투자를 하지 않을 것이고 한류 문화 확산과 기업의 해외 진출에도 부정적인 영향을 미치게 될 것입니다. President Buck called for an end to the distrust and disputes and ordered a full and transparent investigation into the matter. She again stressed the need for national unity to counter outstanding crises as economic conditions are expected to get worse as uncertainties mount. Song Ji-seon, Arirang News.